or children who were brought here to the United States. We've got one of those DACA recipients here of the 2012 Executive Action. Tell us your name and when did you come to the United States? Thank you. My name is Pamela Chamba and I came into the United States in 2001. I was 11 years old and it wasn't until 2012 when President Obama passed his executive order for DACA, childhood arrivals. I received work permits. I was able to also obtain a social security to have a job. Um, and I've been working finally, uh, you know, in political organizing, making sure that more immigrants um, have one step closer to feeling like a human being. My parents are actually DAPA eligible. Uh, I have a young brother who is a U.S. citizen. Uh, he's 10 years old, and he just wants my parents to stay with him. And I want that for him, so that's why I'm here today. Are your parents afraid that they could be deported and your 10-year-old brother would be here? Yes, um, they, they're terrified day to day, especially my 10-year-old brother sometimes comes to me and asks me, what is deportation? Why, why am I afraid? Why are people talking about, uh, you know, kicking our parents out of the country? So he's the most afraid. My parents try to make sure that everything's going to be okay because that's what parents' job. Uh, but the reality is different. The reality is that we live under the fear of deportation for anything like a, a, an accident crossing the street, uh, maybe you jaywalk, Ooh. or if you are at a red, uh, okay. stop sign, um, and you don't wait those three seconds, it could be anything at all, and it's a constant fear in our lives. How old are you, and, and where did you come from? I'm 26 years old, and I came from Lima, Peru, when I was 11 years old. Why did your parents decide to make that trip and bring you here to the United States? It was a tough decision. My parents found the opportunity to sell our home. Um, and you, when you have money, you, you want to do invest. And the best investment that my parents could do at the time, it was making sure that my sister, my youngest brother, and I could have the best education. And that investment went into coming to the US. They knew that here we would have the education that we wanted. And I've been able to go to university thanks to my parents' hard labor. Um, I graduated in 2012 um, while still undocumented. And that just goes to show that immigrant parents want the best for their children. So how much, how did you get here? How did your parents make that trip? And how much money did it cost them? Um, I was 11, so I don't know the exact amount. But we bought plane tickets uh, for all five of us at a time. Um, and we flew in, and my dad came in first in March uh, to look for the apartment, to make sure that we were set. And my mom, my sister who was 10, and my brother who was two years old came with me in June uh, to meet my dad. I already had my, uh, my aunt from my mom's side that lived in the country, so she was able to help us out, making sure that we transitioned well into the culture. So did your parents have a... A, a, a tourist visa? How did they? How were they able to come? We came under our tourist visa, and we overstayed our visa. Okay. Um, what would this mean for your parents? Do you think if this decision is four-four, and essentially their, their, the the president's uh, executive actions are frozen? I think we're very hopeful, even if the decision is four-four, because. The immigrant people are very resilient. My parents have shown me that no matter where you come from, you can fight for what you believe in. Um, look at my story. I came from Peru. I was 11. I didn't think I was going to graduate from an American university, and I did. Um, and it goes to show that it doesn't stop here. The fight will continue on. And when you applied for DACA status, what did you have to show? What did you have to prove? When I applied for DACA status, I had to make sure uh, to show my report cards, and I had them all. Um, I was part of the debate club, so I made sure to show trophies and certificates that I had from high school, middle school, and even through college. I sent my, um, my college papers and my tuition to make sure that they say, hey, I've, I've been doing this for a while, and I want to make sure that I stay here and contribute to the country. How long did it take for you to get approved? Uh, for in 2012, because a lot of people started applying, um, I think the final approval came in November for me. Uh, President Obama passed the executive action in the summer, and I was finally able to have papers by November. What does this election mean uh, to you, uh, this 2016 election and this issue? Um, I think what's really important for the 2016 election is to make sure that the people, especially the immigrant community, 
made together um, that we show people across the screen that our stories. Um, I'm a person that just wants to have the best education available. I want the best for my brothers and my sister. And I want to make sure that my 10-year-old brother doesn't live with the fear that he can lose my parents. Um, and that's what 2016 means, that families should stay together. We, we should keep families together. Well, thank you very much for spending.